Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, we got a little bit of tonight. Your mind. Will you still love me tomorrow? You know, sometimes tomorrow never comes. So I don't know the answer to this question. Don't know the answer. You just gonna have to wait and see. Somebody should come up with a song called "You Should Wait and See." Uh, when it comes to "Do You Still Love Me?" Okay, that's sorry. That that's what this video is about. It's about love, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, back in 2021, I asked the people of my channel, my people. I said, "Hey." I need y'all help. I can't do this. I can't do that without y'all help. I need y'all help. And y'all said, hey, you know what? You an idiot. You a fool. And you get on our nerves. But okay, fine. We'll help you. Because we see that at least you're trying to help others. So we're going to help you. And you know what they did? They helped me overwhelmingly. Oh, God. I mean, just literally help now I hate using the word humble but the experience was exactly that because it made me not feel too great having to ask my people for something now I ain't about to ask y'all for nothing now don't y'all even think that I'm like that stop it and for the last two years tomorrow I mean not tomorrow but next month uh, the 21st of March would make two straight years of focusing only on those individuals who helped, giving them nothing but information to help them at great cost to myself. Ladies and gentlemen, I have put everybody else ahead of me. That's my life. I have not failed to do that any aspect of my life. There have been times when I was selfish. I can use the word selfish. It doesn't really apply, but I can use the word selfish because it's the closest definition. But I have broke my neck not to ever be close to that definition ever again. What am I trying to say? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm simply trying to say that my job is to help people, and I'm going to do the best I can to continue to help people but at this time, at this moment in my life, I need to focus on me. There's a, it's, it's not anything disastrously wrong, okay? Ain't nothing disastrously wrong. I just need to understand that there's been a lack of focus on my part on me, taking care of me. Now, I, now I, my health is actually doing better than I ever could have imagined at this stage in my life. Not in any significant pain. I am getting through my days without all of those headaches I used to have. I get, on average, five to seven hours of sleep every night, like I did last night. There are those nights that I get two hours. There are those nights where I don't get any hours, but I don't suffer from the chronic insomnia I used to have, all as a result of Alterel. Alterel is a nice product. You can get it at Walmart, Walgreens. I'm sorry, I'm not advertising for Alterel. I just know that Alterel, for me, has been a miracle worker when it came to insomnia. Will it work for you? I don't know. Do I recommend it? Yes, I do. Am I getting paid or am I a sponsor of Alterel? Oh, absolutely. Heck no. I don't do sponsorships on this channel. I don't do sponsorships on my channel. I don't get paid for a single video. People, I have done over 15,000 videos on YouTube since 2010. I've not gotten paid for a single one. I will never get paid. Once they pay me, then I'm their employee. Then they get to tell me what to do, what I can't do, how I do what I do. Ain't no way in the world that's ever going to happen. I am uncontrollable. Oh, you're out of control. No, I said I'm uncontrollable. I didn't say I was out of control. You're out of 
uncontrollable. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, Allo Black, and he, what he's saying is, ain't nobody worrying. I like Allo. Okay, I, I really do like Allo. If you guys listen to this channel, you, you'll see that I am drawn to Mr. Allo Black. I have no, no idea. I know he and his wife are involved in the advocacies and all of that stuff. I don't care about that. I like his music. I like the way he puts music together. I like the words he puts together. I can relate to Aloe. That's why I like Aloe Black. So, Aloe, keep it up. Ain't nobody worrying. That's what he's trying to tell y'all. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to keep this short. I got a meeting that we do every morning that uh, cryptocurrency, well, we're doing everything finance. We're not just doing cryptocurrency. There are certain things that we're getting ready to do that I don't want to announce on video because I don't want nobody sitting up there interfering with what we're trying to do by trying to do the same thing. So stop y'all worrying because I ain't worrying. You know what I mean? Because ain't nobody worrying. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to focus more on not me, 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 but I'm going to focus more on continuing my good health. You see, I stopped eating meat in 2016. As I said before, I would go three years, no meat, then back to eating meat. Kielbasa sausage, man, that was my favorite, I promise. I mean, it wasn't something I would eat 24 hours a day, but hey, it was something I would treat myself to. You know what I mean? I never liked steak. Steak fajitas? Yeah, man, could chomp that stuff down with the best of them. But I don't eat meat anymore. I don't drink sodas anymore. And I know that that has something to do with it. I can guarantee myself that it has something to do with it. I eat more vegetables down than I've eaten in my entire lifetime. Okay, even if you added two lifetimes, I eat more vegetables now than I've ever eaten in my entire lifetime times three. So I know that this has, uh, uh, see, when I say things like this, I got people wanting to give me advice on my health. Stayed up out of my business. I didn't ask you for your advice, did I? Sorry. I'm, I'm talking to those people who are not my people. See, my people, my people would never give me advice on my health because they know when I say I don't want it, they're not going to even try to suggest it or force it on me. See, those are my people. My people are not going to go out of their way to offend me. Well, I only was trying. I don't give up what you were trying. Well, I only meant good. I don't give up what you meant. I said no. See, my people understand when I say no, I mean no. When it comes to my business, my people know how to stay out of it. See, my people stay out of my business because I stay out of theirs. They know how to MYOB, mind their own business. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Aloe Black again. He's asking about all love everything. Like I said, me and Aloe, I, I like his thinking. I like the way he puts music together. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as I mentioned, it is unique. Now, here's the problem. I will tell you there is one problem. I have a torn rotator cuff been uh, so many specialists they need to operate but they can't operate why because they need to tear into the skin they need to drill they need to get in there and take out the uh, bone spur ladies and gentlemen can't do that because I'm allergic to anesthesia they don't want to take that chance so that pain is there. I don't need your suggestions. I didn't ask you for your suggestions. Keep your mother <coughs> suggestions to yourself. I am just mentioning something. Now, if I mention something and you got an opinion, yell it, scream it, shout it to the computer screen. But do not email me. Don't worry about it. Everybody who does, they get blocked. I don't. They go straight to spam, and I never ever see anything from those mother again. Okay, I don't unspam you. Once you go there, once you go to the block list, you stay there. I don't care who you are. I don't care if I've known you for 15, 25 billion years. You go into spam. 
you give me health advice because that means you don't know me. And I ain't got time. Okay, thank you. See, he said he ain't worried about time either. Right on time. You know what I mean? It's a time thing. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and bring this video to an end. This is just me doing a video letting you know that, first, everything is okay. And I hope the information has been beneficial to all of you. Because my goal was to give you the nuts and crannies. And here at the point that we are, I've given you guys information that's going to cause me a lot of problems because they're going to come my way. And look, Aloe Black is saying, are you ready? Hey, Aloe, I prepared for it. Why? Because the information you guys have been given on tax credits, man, the reason why so many of you are so skittish because you have no idea of the value of credit because you, you don't understand how finances work. It's not my fault that you don't know how finances work. That is your fault. You're supposed to know how finances work. So if you really want to get an understanding, go and look at the stupid audio book. Give me a second. Go to YouTube. Type in Rich Dad, Poor Dad audio book. Listen to it. You'll see that he's saying everything that I've been saying all this time. And here's the thing. I didn't get my information from no Rich Dad, Poor Dad book. This is Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I didn't ever listen to this book, read this book. There's no way in the world I would have sat down and read this book. You couldn't have paid me to read a book that is this long. Because I didn't like reading when I was younger. It wasn't that I was afraid if reading was boring to me. And I hated being bored. You'll see my videos. I can't just sit up here and do no stupid boring videos. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, we ain't allowing no ads. Y'all see I got the ads blocked? What you talking about allow ads on my video? Mother, sorry, YouTube doesn't like ad skippers. They want you to sit through ads. They give you three or four ads a video now, and the video is only two minutes long. Ain't no way in the world. Uh-uh, ain't no way in the world. So, hey, ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, if you want to understand finances, Listen to Rich Dad, Poor Dad, then go back and listen to my videos. Okay, because I can only tell you that the Rich Dad and the Poor Dad, I, I knew both of them. Okay, I was the kid always asking questions like you hear these two asking. And the adults talked to me like an adult. They didn't talk to me like I was some kid. All right, I got to go. Got a meeting. Y'all take care. All right, best advice I ever had.